guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. Today I'm doing another driving lesson for Jack. In today's lesson we're going to be looking at pedestrian crossings and dealing with hazards and also going into third gear in today's lesson. Okay so first of all um, just a little introduction on pedestrian crossings. When it comes to pedestrian crossings you have two main types. You have uncontrolled crossings like a zebra cross where you just have to wait for people if they step yeah. out or you have controlled crossings like a pedestrian crossing like traffic light crossing, yeah. like pelican, puffin, yeah. toucan, yeah. all of them. Okay so firstly let's talk about um, zebra crossings. Now they're quite easy to identify aren't they? Yeah. They look very unique. A lot of flashing lights. Yeah so you have the black and white poles, Belisha beacons on the top, mm -hmm. you have the zigzags on approach. Yep. Now what do you know about those zigzags? These two signs apply to them. What do these two signs mean? You're not allowed to overtake a motor vehicle on zigzag lines. Right. Yep, and you're not allowed to park on zigzag lines. Of course. Yeah? So that's why whenever we see a zebra crossing, the whole area, sort of the whole section leading up to that crossing should be clearly in view. So it shouldn't be that someone's blocking your view on the side of the crossing. Right. So the first things first, when you've identified the crossing, the first thing you do is just use all, all your mirrors. You want to see what's behind, what's to the right or left of you at the time. As soon as you've done that, you want to then step off the accelerator so you're not speeding up on approach to the crossing. Once yeah. you've stepped off the accelerator, you want to scan both sides of the crossing to see if there's any people that might just be walking past or they're walking towards a crossing. Now, talking about um, your hazard perception last time, if somebody looks like they're going to walk past the crossing, there's still a chance that they might cross, isn't there? Yeah. So we've got to be able to stop in case that person does step out. So that's how we've got to be approaching. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start braking and you think that, might, that person may cross, start braking and approach. Better safe than sorry. That's it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you suspect someone's going to cross, you start braking, get the clutch down, you stop just before the giveaway line, and then you get ready. Now before you move off from that zebra crossing, it's very important to look around these pillars because they can very easily hide pedestrians, can't they? Yeah. There you go. So you've just got to move your head like that side to side to make sure it's clear and then continue. Have to be quite a skinny person there. <laughs> yes, but imagine they're slightly further from you. True. But they're in that spot and they haven't moved. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, um, that's that. Now, if somebody doesn't cross when you're waiting for them, but they look like they're going to cross, is it safe to invite them into the road like you did last time with that lady? No. No, why not? Um... I don't know why, but I know it's not safe. Because there may be other hazards. Yeah. There might be a cyclist behind us or a yeah, motorbike yeah, yeah, approaching. Yeah. So we don't want to grab that pedestrian's attention and go, hey, you know what, I'm waiting for you. Because now they're thinking, oh, thank you, and you know, just focusing yeah. on you, which can be dangerous yeah. for them. Okay, so don't take charge at that point. Let them decide. Sure. So eye contact, but no hand signals. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just make sure if there's traffic, obviously don't stop on the crossing. And if you're leading up to a crossing where there's traffic on the other side of you, you would want to make sure that you're um, looking on the other side behind that traffic, so slowing down on approach. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or even changing gear if it's like a large vehicle completely blocking your view, make sure, sure no one's standing in the road. Okay? Yeah. Now when it comes to zebra crossings, you have... Sorry. With zebra crossings, you have single crossings that run from one side of the road to the other. Mm -hmm. Then you have double crossings where there's an island in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. So with the island in the road, provided they go from left to the middle and they carry on, we can go. Yeah. Whereas on the single crossing, we would wait for them to go all the way. Sure. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, now in terms of pedestrians that just want to cross the road where there is no crossing, just deal with them carefully. Now, pedestrians aren't totally crazy. So when they do step out from the right hand side of the road and you're coming forward they don't even have stepped out on that side because that side that of the road clear, is clear sure. so don't feel like you have to stop just yeah. because they've stepped out when you see that pedestrian has stepped out just check all your mirrors again see what's behind you is mm -hmm. anyone behind you and think okay well does that person want to cross after me or before me and then sort of go accordingly right okay all right now traffic light crossing so controlled crossings so with controlled crossings, they all look the same. It just looks like a traffic light in the middle of the road with zigzag lines on approach. The first thing to do is, again, use all your mirrors, step off the accelerator and scan. But ultimately, it is the colour of the lights mm. that decide whether or not you stop. If there's people waiting, the lights are more likely to change because somebody has pressed the button. Okay. Do those actually work? Right? I thought it was just a mirror. No, they definitely do work. Because if, like, if you're driving down the high road, it's busy, the lights will most likely be changing throughout the day, mm. but if you're in a quiet road, they're yeah. not going to change suddenly, are they? Yeah. yeah? Okay, so with those ones, I'm trying to break it down a little bit. You have pe Pelican, Puffin, Toucan, Pegasus. Yep. 
The Pelican is the only one um, that has that flashing amber beacon. Oh. Okay, so when you're, you've stopped, yeah. the light is red, after that it will start to flash amber. If nobody's crossing, you would continue. You know. Yeah. Right. If somebody's still crossing, you wait for them to come off before oh. you proceed. Okay, um, all the others just have that normal sequence. After red, it will go red and, red and amber, then green. Okay. Again, with controlled crossing, sometimes you have an island in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. But if there's an island but no traffic light in the middle where they can press the button again, it's a single crossing. Whereas if the crossing is staggered, when they have to walk from one side to the mm -hmm. other, that's yeah. two. Okay. okay? All right, now a little bit about um, changing into third gear. At what sort of speed would you change up into third? 25. Anything above 20. Anything above 20. If we're just driving steady 20, you'd still rather be in yeah. third because it's more fuel efficient. Sure. But anything above 20, go into third. So to change into third, make sure from second, you just place your hand at the back of the gear lever, yeah, with your palm facing forward and just go up and it will go back to neutral by itself. Mm -hmm. And so then from there up I'm again. In second. Yeah, so from here, just forward and forward. So you're not actually having to move the gear lever to the right no. at all. It moves by itself. Okay. Okay? We'll try that later. All right. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So now, when switching back down from three to two, if you notice that there's a pedestrian crossing or anything you need to slow down for mm -hmm. in the distance, we're going to brake. We're going to bring the speed down from thirty around twenty, and then switch back to two. Now, to go back to two, you have to go down to neutral and then left down. Otherwise, it will go straight to four. Right. Be really careful with that movement straight from three to neutral because it's really close. Okay. Mm. Yep. Alright, let's start the engine. Okay, so you're in charge of the moving off, changing gears, stopping and all that on your own because you know how to yep. do all that. I'm talking you through any pedestrian crossings and how to switch to three and back down. Uh -huh. So when you're ready, show me how you'd move off. Good, but should we not signal? We're kind of uh, hidden, yeah. no one really knows. Well, how do you know someone's not sitting in that car waiting for waiting to move off even okay all right so so it's one thing that i forget <laughs> okay so we're gonna go straight on from here so what do those blue signs up there mean um one way oh good yes one way so no one's gonna come towards you so we're all fine good you can see we have to sort of go in the middle of the bridge but yeah. for lorries they definitely have to they can't be on the sides which is why they've closed off the sides here anyways sure. good so we can position in the middle of the road or on the right so this is one way because no one's coming yeah this is one way oh this feels nice now looking at the arrow at the end what does that tell you uh left only left only now do we need a signal yes yes so use your mirrors signal now go all the way to the end. If nobody's waiting to cross, we're going to go up onto that ramp, which is what we all did right. last time. So keep it going. Think about the pedals. Think about the pedals. Good. Now let it roll all the way. Let it get slightly further. Okay, put that clutch back down. First gear. Look left. Back. Now go forward because you've stopped too early. <laughs> clutch control. Go forward. Go all the way to the end. Look left. Because people may still try and cross in front. Now clutch down, brake. Clutch down, brake. Brake. I felt like I needed to break there. Can we go? Yeah. All right, when you move in, just into this left-hand lane here. So slowly go out. There is someone there, but he's further. So we're going left at these lights. All right. Okay, go all the way. A little bit of acceleration. Left signal on. Good. Now think about how we're stopping. Brake and... Did you realise you stopped early there? Yeah, barely. Yeah. But I was just a bit thrown off by the fact there was a crossing as well. Mm -hmm. It's just if no one's there, you go all the way to the end because it's not a foot, it's not a crossing where you have to give way. Right. Okay, so looking at this traffic light, can you yeah. see that empty yeah. box at the bottom? Normally that turns on first. So if mm -hmm. that comes in, start moving. It's all right, way right, right. I can go straight left. Yeah, if yeah. it's filter green arrow. Yeah. Be careful of any cyclists that may try and get past mm -hmm. you. There isn't enough space, but you still got to be sure. mindful of that here. There you go. Should we go? Yeah. Accelerate. Checking that left mirror. Keep nice and straight. Bit of acceleration. Yeah. Go on. Turn straight in. Now this is a 30 road. We're going to be trying third along this road. So Let's firstly, go. speed up. Brilliant. Good. Get that clutch up slowly. Now accelerate a lot more. Right hand steady. We're going to go for third now. So stepping off the accelerator. Clutch down. Clutch down. Change. Oh, there's a kid at the road. Brake a little bit closer. 
I chat all the way. So that was a pedestrian crossing, but he was just crossing behind the car. Oh, why was that? Come back to the left, step off the accelerator. Oh, I like that. <laughs> back on the accelerator gently now. So you don't have to accelerate so much in right. bird to keep it at 20. Oh. Just go a little bit faster because it is a 30. Move yourself more to the right, so in the centre of your lane. So we've got a roundabout up there, we're going to be turning right, but we're not going to approach in third. But there's also a zebra crossing there, can you see it? Yeah. So check top and right, signal right, start braking now. Now? Yeah, because we need to switch to second, come on, brake, brake, clutch down fully, and second, that's fourth, release the brake, release the brake, release, that's second, clutch back up. You need to give it some time in case you get it wrong, okay? Earlier is better than later. Now keep going all the way forward, lean forward and look across to the right position, a bit right Jack. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go around the circle, he waits for us, and there we are. This is another crossing. No one's, no one's on either side, just fine, yeah. check top and right mirror, and then keep it going. Now what do we have up there? Uh, uh, zebra. Yeah, zebra crossing. Now just again, check your top left mirror this time as well. When we get a bit closer, we'll step off the accelerator. But we got this lady on the left, no, she's okay. Yeah, we're good to go. Now we're going to go to the roundabout and turn left onto East Acton to check mirrors. Brilliant. You can see there's a new lane to go left, so we'll get yeah. into that one. As we're getting there, start looking at that roundabout. Go all, right. all the way to the top. There's a black cab, but I think... Can we go? Yeah. Looking left, but as soon as you turn, what do we have here? Crossing. Anybody? No, luckily. Right. We're okay, but that kid's there, but we can go. Yeah. Because he's only it's just started. island in the middle. Yes, it yeah. is. A double crossing. Well done. But you see these these crossings are sometimes in really annoying spots don't go fast step off the accelerator we're back to 20. all right now this high street will be busy there's so much going on along here i know so i want you naming hazards but i'm still telling you when there's crossings coming up for now good so check that mirror right and move over and then keep it going good now what do we have up there zebra good anybody near no okay for these but there is a road on the right <laughs> <laughs> Bananas. All right, keep it going. I can still do it. Checking your top mirror. See the vehicle behind. Yeah. Just want to know how close they are in case we need to brake. Sure. What about that van reversing? Is that a potential or a developing yeah, hazard? Developing. Okay. So what do we do as we're going forward? Is he waiting? He's not waiting, yeah, is he? See. What should we do then? What should we do? Brake hand. Take that pressure off the brake slowly. Good. Well done. Stop early. Stop early. Well done. Anything else? I changed it. Oh yeah, he did. Oh my god, great crazy. Now check the top and left mirror because cyclists will still get through. Slowly go forward. Did that guy just not see salute us? I have no idea. I was busy looking in that left mirror at the time. That guy just not see saluted us. He might have just used, used his <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have lots of hazards here, like yeah. these indicators on. Now be mindful people step in. Now he's overtaking. Yeah, he was good he's overtaking. He was driving a bit silly behind us. All right, crossing. It's all clear. Okay, what about the island? Can you see it sticks out? Yeah. We've got to go around that a little bit. Good. Anyone behind us now? Yeah. Good. Now we're all, we are on a 20 it's zone. That's a hazard. That's a hazard, yeah. If he stands in the road, he's a hazard, yeah. There you go, we're good. All right, looking ahead, what do we have up there? Oh, my days, I'm a, oh, no, it's going straight on. He's gone, uh, straight, yeah. he's gone straight from the right only lane as well. Yeah. Okay, so at the traffic lights, we're going to now turn left. Right. So, yep, a bit of acceleration just to get you up there. Come over to the left a little bit. Now step off the accelerator. Brake a bit. Brake a bit, we can hear sirens. Brake and clutch, brake and clutch. Quickly, stop, first gear, first gear, stop. See the lights? Yeah. Now it's safer for us to just carry on waiting. Right. I know we're sort of on the crossing there, but we couldn't really do very much. Good, keep hold of the brake. Are we rolling? Good, it's just... We can't do anything about where we are at the minute, okay? Is this guy even going to... Oh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> He's not totally crazy. He's waiting for green men. So this is a junction crossing. So again here, the, the pedestrians sort of get their own time in between, so you don't have to worry about when they're going to cross. They right. should wait for you. All right, feet ready. And so we can go straight away when it's green. Go checking that left mirror again, and in you go. Right, can you identify the hazards for me now? Um, what do we have here? Zebra crossing. Uh, not a zebra crossing, sorry. Yeah, yeah. A traffic light crossing. Traffic light crossing. 
so you can see the zigzags. What type is that? Pele uh, As a driver, you won't be able to tell what they are. Step off the really? accelerator. Yeah, they sort of place them according to the type of junctions you're on, but you can't really tell what's what until the lights change. Sure. But it's just a traffic light crossing for us. Did you like earlier how I was already in first and you thought I was? Yes, that was yeah. good. Caught me off guard there. All right, looking here. What's it in front of us now? Yeah, you can't see the traffic light on the right side, that's really badly placed there. <laughs> They're kind of facing each other, which is crazy. Yeah, that's good. Okay, just be mindful that there is a cycle lane running on alongside us. Yeah. And we have this cyclist who's just on the pavement there. But the lights are still green. Good, stay in line with the car in front, we're good. White car's position, we can move over. <laughs> check the mirror, wait for it. Mirror, move over. Good, and check the left and come back and then continue. Yes, but you've just got to be nice there. That's my he was, he was really well dressed for a cyclist. He had his high vis, yeah, bless him. everything. He's... Sometimes they don't have any of that safety gear, but he did. All right, looking ahead, what's the next priority? There, okay, now this is a tricky one because there's a bend. Right. Think about the van, think about the van. Check that mirror. I nearly had to, to grab the wheel from you there. Is that about a crash into it? Well, okay, I'll explain that in just a second. Just slow it down for this bike here. Now brake clutch, definitely, brake clutch. First gear, check the mirror and move over. Go on, wiggle through. Like there's moving around the vehicle with space and then there's moving around the vehicle where you're sort of um, tongue in cheek a little bit. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Speed up first. You haven't put the clutch down, which is why you couldn't change yeah, gear. Yeah, yeah. All right, now take your time. It's no rush. Done? Yeah. Okay. Stay in the middle. Okay, looking ahead. So whenever uh, you've got a parked vehicle, you don't want to go up to it to go around it. And if you feel like you're going to have to go up to it, then you should be slower and in first gear. It's yeah. like now with the parked car. Why is this car going so Check slow right, move over, that? move over. Think about what we just talked about. Yeah, that's right. Should I have stopped there fully? I, th I think so. Just caught he had a bit priority. off guard by how slow he was going. Remember, he, was, he had priority also. Yeah. He'd only just moved off, so give him time. Think about that clearance between you and the island and the car. Mm -hmm. We'd rather just slow down rather than squeezing through, which is what you yeah. did there. Well, I thought, because he was quite... I thought I could just, because he was quite close anyway, so I thought I could just slow down. And yes, but with how they're driving, it's better if you just True. stop yeah, stop rather than trying to squeeze through, which is what you're yeah. doing. Okay. I was also just taking that road a bit quickly as well, I think. Mm, it's just more the, the clearance in between. Oh. Alright, so we're going to go straight from here. Right. So ahead of us, we're going to go straight again. We're going to repeat that whole loop. Think about what you need to do here. Really nice, well done. Okay, so we're going to repeat the whole loop, but this time round I'm not identifying the hazards for you, like I'm not telling you about the pedestrian crossings, I want you to tell me. And if you don't tell me, I'm going to assume you've not seen it. Okay? Sure. But I am still telling you when to go into third and how to switch back to second for now. Okay. 
Okay, so when the lights go green, we're just going ahead and we are going to try third gear along this road. So that's like in movies when they rev, they have the clutch down, they just press the accelerator. Yeah. Loads. So I'm you can see the rev count. Now, when, when we drive, we get the rev count to about 1.5, don't we? Yeah, it's like 5. They get it a lot higher. <laughs> because then I can see as well. <laughs> Alright, slowly as you come in, left hand lane. Good, don't worry about that, talk about it later. Continue, go a bit quicker. How do we go quicker? Going left here, signal on. There's a bus on your right, do not swing that way. Come left more, brake a little bit for the man, and then turn after him. Hold on, keep it going. Brilliant, I'm looking ahead of you. Why are these guys braking? Because that's traffic light. Yeah. Do you remember what that is? Oh, what's Flashing that? Flashing amber. We can go because there's no one crossing, mate. But there's about five cars in front of you. It's Give pulling... them time. Oh, is that? Yeah, because they have to react one after the other, don't they? There's only two. It's the Range Rover. There's one more in front of him as well. Oh, but remember, you can't... That's exactly what Louis did, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> just a uh, quick heads up there. Don't think that just because the lights are flashing that they're going to move straight away. Everyone's got a slightly different reaction time. All right, now we're going to try third along this road, so try and increase the distance in front a little bit. Now speed up a little bit more, right hand steady. Yeah. Yeah, clutch fully down, clutch up in three. Really good movement into third. Now watch that man, what's he going to do? Yep. It's a hazard. Yeah, that was your developing hazard there, but he, he was all right in terms of distance. Okay, there's our roundabout. This time when you switch to second, don't go straight down, go neutral left. Right. Okay, we're going to go right to mirrors and signal now, please. Good. Now staying in that lane, start braking. Let's shift it down to two now. Nicely done. And clutch to stay in that right a bit more. Go right a bit more. Right a bit more. Good. Go forward. Can we go? No. Brake clutch. And what do we do now that we've stopped? Okay, so after the Peugeot, can we go? Look left in the meantime. Go slow, go slow. Okay, he's turning. Yeah, no, he indicated. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw. But he was in the, the other position, wasn't he? He was kind of in the middle of both. Yeah. So even if they signal, but because of their position, you don't want to trust that straight away. Right. What's in front of you? Um, what's that? What's that? Yep. Check your mirrors. Anybody that might cross for you? These two. Yeah. This one. So it's a double crossing. Are the two on the right That's about good. to start? No? Even if they did, I could have gone right. If you feel close enough, yeah, yeah, if you have time, you stop. Okay, we're gonna go left. Okay, so. Ooh. Oh, that bus. bus. Did the yeah, he did, he did. Oh, he indicated for that van, didn't he? Looking here, what do we have? Can we go? What's the second man on the van? Good, continue. Was that okay? We dealt with that nicely. Mom. Can I sit in silence for the next two minutes at least? What do you want me to do? I want you to identify all the hazards sure. and talk out loud about what you see and what uh, you're going to do. Sure, yeah. So I don't want to have to do anything. And don't uh, get too close to parked vehicles either. Alright. Oh, 
closet. Okay. Alright, so there's a hazard there coming, and this is a zebra crossing, however, no one is um, coming across it. So, all good. you want to be really careful with because look he's gone yeah, straight that's a kid, yeah. from the right only now just check the left mirror okay lights are green how close he was on your right there as well. These guys better to say thank you to me. <laughs> Seeing as it's priority to them, they don't always check that mirror. Good. It's not an issue though. Um, it's common courtesy. I'd always say thank you. Yeah. But it was just like, oh, it's getting closer and I don't like it. Alright, now with the bus 
definitely, definitely white. Yeah. Okay. If it's starting to jutter, we might need a gear change. Should we stop here? Because of this guy? Yeah, pedals, what do we do? Good. And check the mirror, now don't rush this bit. Check that mirror on the right. Go on, off you go. Steady there. What was going on that? It's just the clutch was up too fast. We're going to pull into that space just there behind the white car. Sure. Yeah, lots of braking from here. And then... Okay, remember, we don't need to park too close. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Move away slightly. Just use the car in front and just keep rolling forward into the space. Good, but we didn't need that gear change, did we? I don't know why I changed gear. Okay, that's fine. Let's secure the car. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, so how did you feel about um, dealing with pedestrian crossings on your own on that last one? Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. A lot better, I'd say. Yeah, no, you did really, really well. Um, on that second to that, that last round, did you get what I meant about that clearance with that van? You just sort of... Yeah. Yeah. If you feel like you're going to go up yeah. to the van to go around, you're going to be now too close. Even if you don't hit, it's just like, oh, well, why do you want to pass that close? Yeah. It was, I was going quite quickly the first time around. Yeah. So... Yeah. And not enough steering. So that's what you need to realise. That, so the space in front of you, if it looks narrow, the smaller the gap, the slower you go, and then the lower the gear as well. So maybe just go down into first gear. Sure. Okay. But you did really well identifying the hazards that second time round, definitely. When you see something, when you see a hazard developing, don't keep rolling. Try and stop. Like that van earlier, you could see him ages. Yeah. Ages, right? He carried on. Yeah. I had to tell you to kind of stop there. Mm. So just, just stop. Try sure. and leave that two car length gap that we've talked about previously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, oh, you mentioned the hazard. Yeah. How, how was third gear? Going up into so third. So smooth, but it, that the first time I did it, it felt a bit shaky going up and going back down. Yeah. But then I realised it's a. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Going back down was much better the second time mm. round. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you didn't mess it up that time. That was really good. Um, there's no harm in changing gear early. Yeah. But changing too late now just really packs yeah. out that junction observation. Yeah. You don't want to have to do too much at once. Sure. Okay. All right, so that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned a little bit about how to deal with pedestrian crossings, with hazards, and also going up and down into third gear. Thank you. Thank you.